Hello and welcome to my channel. I am the Silver Wheel Witch. Today I'm going to be doing another flip through book review for you. The book I have here today is How to Do Psychic Readings Through Touch by Ted Andrews. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the cover. Um, it is a well sold book. It is published by Llewellyn. And I will show you the back in case you want to freeze frame and read that. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is go ahead and just give you a flip through of the pages to give you an idea what it looks like real quick. And we'll take a closer look at the contents inside the cover. And then take a look at what I've tabbed in the book. So here you go. Oops. If I can get it set up correctly. There we go. Okay, and it looks like it is 219 pages long. With that, uh, sorry for the glare here. Let's go ahead and take a look inside the cover here. We have a tidbit about the author. I have read quite a few of his books now and I really am loving his writing style. The amount of information that I get out of his books is just, I mean, it's spectacular. It's a lot of information and it's always very helpful and useful. So there's that. This is the fourth edition, 12th printing in 2021. And some other books by Ted Andrews. Oops, there we go. Okay. And the contents. So is it just the one? It is just the one page. It's pretty basic, but I'll give you a close-up. I like to always give you a close-up of the contents to give you an idea of what's in the book, if the book is right for you. Um, and then I'm trying something a little new with my tabs here. So I've done it on one other video and I got some good response to it. So when I have freshly read a book, um, I have been trying new practices out with my tabs that I use to mark things. And so instead of going through the book and hand selecting a few key points that maybe aren't listed in the contents, I thought I would actually share with you all the raw data of information here that I have personally tagged as going through the book. Everyone different is going to get something different out of a book, but I thought I would go ahead and share that information with you guys so you can kind of see what stood out to me. And then usually I'll go back and journal or um, do some more research on certain areas. So the first section I tabbed out was this whole section on optical illusions. I thought that it was very fascinating that he put that in this book. And he goes into um, quite a bit of information here. Um, you know, two and a half pages worth, about two pages worth of uh, information on optical illusions just enough to really um, want to dive deeper if you're interested in the subject. I've always loved optical illusions, so I found it interesting to find information on that in this book. And it gives you a lot of different figures, um, images. Okay, the next thing I have tabbed was I marked the whole chapter, just, just the whole chapter, the whole darn thing, because it was just amazing. So this one is on enhancing your sense of touch. And he has a chart here on about consciousness and subconsciousness, um, aids to psychic touch. And he's got a lot of exercises and practices in this book to really help you develop your skills. I will say the beginning half of the book, um, a lot of the practices and stuff were working with people other like at least a partner or a group of people which doesn't so greatly work for me personally because I don't really have anybody close to me to practice with but um, 
later in the book, as you'll see, there's some sections that um, really focused on the individual and I found very helpful. Um, I always like to mark the information um, on herbs from different books and different perspectives. So I thought that this was fascinating that he's got um, these different herb oil information, like essential oils and how they relate to um, using them for touch to gather psychic information from holding things and how that works to either cleanse your energy or to amplify it. So he's got a few there. And then um, I marked this one here was, um, oh yes, so this was first experiment with these little sentence things. By the way, if you're interested in them, they are great. They highlight, but I would just suggest the yellow ones because the colored ones are actually kind of hard to see through, but the yellow ones work perfect. Um, I have a deck of playing cards for sure. I've got quite a few. So um, I liked his example here with using just a deck of playing cards um, for practice. And then what else do we have here? Creating a sacred chamber of touch. Oh, this was a meditation. So I always love different meditations and trying out different um, approaches and ways of doing. There's so many different kinds of meditation aside from just clearing your mind. Um, I do a lot of visual work. So um, I liked that whole section. I'll definitely be going back to that. Okay, and then this one, I used this whole sticky here, and I just noted that it is an excellent chapter on empathy and being em empathic. Um, that as a strong empath, the techniques in this chapter have been most helpful to me. So this was by far my favorite, most useful chapter in the whole book. Um, I'll just flip through it. Uh, he really gave a lot of techniques in here to go back and practice. So how empathy occurs. So it gives you some information on it. Um, a free empathic response. Forced empathic response goes into explaining that. Um, atavistic response. So it explains the different type of empathic responses that you can receive. Um, and then it goes in to these different exercises. Are you empathic? I know that I am, but I've been looking for different ways to really um, hone that ability and amplify it and get better at it. Um, and this is the first book that I've read that really gave me some practical application um, steps that you can follow and things that you can practice on a regular basis to really do that. Um, controlling and protecting your empathic responses. He basically goes into it in here that you should be able to turn it off and turn it on when you want to. Um, I'm not quite there. Some situations I can turn it off, but not in all of them. So really looking forward to using some of these skills in this book to work on that. Um, Turning it on is a lot easier than turning it off sometimes, we'll say that. Um, let's see, what did I mark here? Uh, the feet and hands are points where the major meridians of the body terminate. Let's see. I think that was just an exercise. It's got steps. But it was something that I really wanted to go back and actually... Um, practice, recognizing psychic currents. Um, so this whole chapter was just really, really fantastic. So I highly recommend that. So I mean, yes, definitely this book is on, I think it's called Clear Tangency. You can by touch um, psychically gain information from objects. Um, empathy and empathic skills definitely play a big role in that. 
and um, this book really gives you the tools you need to develop that. So aside from just knowing, yes, I'm empathic, I know I am, I can tell, but you don't really know the steps to take to really improve that, or you do know and you have some control over it like I do, but you really want to dive deeper and find some practices and exercises, this book is absolutely fabulous for that. So there you have it. That is How to Do Psychic Readings Through Touch by Ted Andrews. Let me know what your thoughts are. I really would love to know down in the comments um, if any of you have read this book or what your thoughts are on it. Um, and please do like, share, and subscribe if you found this information helpful. And I hope you have a wonderful, blessed day. I'll see you all next time.